and out of the premises. And amongst them were the friends whom he had accompanied to his house. Uh, we are here to know why he went to report a matter of a known person and yet he had been with this person for more than two years. We are here to know why did he say that, why did he went just immediately to report the person after missing two hours and we know normally it takes 72 hours to know that this person has really, uh, has totally gone missing. We are here to know why is it that the other time that we received videos and photos of the house the, the, the window panes and the windows were intact. But recently, we have seen one. One window which has been turned, uh, which has actually been tampered with. We want to know who tampered with it and why. And we want to know why is it taken as a suicide case whereby the spoiling the mouth was not even seemingly to be a, a, a person who is oppressed or who is depressed. A person who was very cheerful and who was very pre promising, full of life. We are here to know why is it that we are being provoked online by one, the DJ Fatso, by telling us that we are doing nothing, we are backing, we are making noise. What noise are we making? And we are crying, we are not crying because of food prices, we are not crying because of any subsidies, we are not crying because of anything else. We are not even asking for jobs. We are asking to know who is behind the killing of that young son. And if it was suicide... Me the questions, be brief with yes. the questions so okay. that... We, we, need, we, need, we need to know yeah. what is happening, just simple and clear. Yeah. Yeah. As you are aware, there are investigations that are ongoing. Yes. Yes. At this stage, we cannot disclose what, uh, what has been established. But when we reach the right time, the file will be presented to ODPP before a decision to charge is made. So we are still at the process of compiling evidence. And if at all, any one of you, because you seem to be having a lot of information concerning the incident, what we shall require from you is to cooperate with the police who are investigating the matter so that whatever you, uh, information you have can be documented and a decision is made as to the evidential threshold. It will not be prudent to talk too much about the case in a, in a scenario like this one when we are not willing to take that evidence to the investigating officer for it to be packaged into evidence for purposes of being used in court. And for the, for the point you have raised concerning the threats from the person you are insinuating is the key suspect, we shall require you to make a report to the police in regard to that threat so that it is investigated independently away from the death that is being investigated. Because if we miss, we mix the issues, we are going to miss the point. Yes. Among us, you, do we have any person who has recorded dead or has gone to the police to record a statement and he has been denied? No. Uh, are you willing to go to the police and record statement? Yes. Because that is what I'm advising you. Yes. To go to the office that is investigating this matter. Yes. With the, which is DCI Kiawa, uh, is it Gidurai Kimbo? which is investigated, Kasarani. 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 Yes. You go to the, to the DCIO, yes. record your statement. If he's, he declines to record the statement, yes. you have the right to come to these headquarters yes. to demand that you need your statement to be recorded. Yes. I think I've addressed your concern. Thank you. I'm personally yes. working with it, and I will promise you that I will be in this for And I urge you when demonstrating or when you want to pass any information anywhere, provide... Uh, Proceed to exhibit some civility the way you've come to these headquarters. You've been peaceful, you've been willing to hear from us. Thank you. Okay, we are the question that you have not answered. Yes. You have she not answered my question. One question. Which one? You have not answered as to why there is no any suspect that is arrested. You know, we do not put the cart before the horse. We need to package the evidence first so that in the event that the evidence is pointing on a specific person, we shall round that. We shall arrest that person. If it is a group, we shall round them together to arrest, with a view of arraigning them to to the court for proper processing. Remember the issue of the 24-hour rule. 
we don't have to preempt the arrest, then we lack where to take those people in the event that we are not ready to prosecute them. Thank you. Yeah. So, so Let us follow the due process and assure you something is going to be done. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Investigation. Thank you. Sir. Yeah. How long will yeah. it take how long? Investigation. Investigation to be to be sincere with you, there is no stipulated time frame for an investigation to be taken. And you understand the complicity of this matter. It is not a crime that is likely to have been committed by one person. So let us take some time so that when we take someone to court, we take him based on evidence and not based on public pressure. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, Santeni. Oh, thank you. Salama. Hi. Your name? <laughs> My name is Amos Omuga, Director Legal. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. KTN? Citizen here. Are you satisfied? Citizen.